Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Marry My Husband episode 49. Due to Webtoon's new policy by Never Webtoon, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So I do have to cover this one with the cat logo. So you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who's uh, interested in my early access, and then all my contents are unblurred and there's no cat logo on there, I do have them on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Check them out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, it's a song. I don't care about your past relationships, no matter who you meet or what you do. I'll be here waiting for you. I can't sing, so I'm not singing it to you guys. I'm reading it to y'all. So. It looks like she's seeing a ghost. Finally. How have you been, honey? Marry My Husband, episode 49. I totally forgot where we left off. How dare you show up here? Leave before I call the police. Come on, honey. Are you seriously going to kick me out? I'm sorry, okay? Apologizing won't work. I'm going to file for divorce, so you should also get ready. God, Juran! I had no idea how heartless you could be. How is this being heartless? Think of our daughter. Let me go. There's no way I'm going to stay married to you. Because I want what's best for Yonji more than anything. Falling for divorce could put you at a disadvantage. What are you talking about? Jaeyoon is clearly the one at fault. Of course, he's the one at fault. But since the two of you have been married for a long time, the court would probably say that he made at least a small contribution to the household income. Which means all the money you saved up over the years will have to be split between you and your husband. Goodness. How do you know all this? Oh, I have a lawyer friend. You should try to have a consensual divorce and work out the conditions with him. In exchange for lowering the alimony, you should tell him you don't want to divide up your assets. Since it'll be an agreement between the two of you, you'll be able to secure all the important things like parental rights, custody, and visitation rights. So basically, I'll be removing Jeonji's father from her life. I'm sorry if I've overstepped my bounds. I just... No, it's a good idea. Thank you. Yonji will be better off without a father like that. He'll probably try to sponge off of her one day, too. I'm going to make sure he never shows his face again. 7.10 p.m. Ms. Yang, you're taking the subway home, right? Wait for me, Mr. Lee. I'm not going home tonight. I made plans to see my husband. And although I'm getting a divorce, I'm still legally married. Uh, not to mention, even if I divorce my husband, it doesn't change the fact that I'm a mother to a ch young child. Why are you saying all of this? To tell you, To tell you to give up hope. You shouldn't try to get involved with me. But Ms. Yang, did you say you're going to meet with your husband right now? Let me come with you, since it could be dangerous. I'll just stand somewhere nearby and keep an eye on you. Uh. Here, take a look. It's a divorce agreement. Hey, this is so unfair! What do you get to keep all our assets? Plus, you want me to give up parental rights, custody, and visitation rights? The only asset I have is the apartment. My parents helped me pay for it, and I paid off the loan with my salary. You don't have a claim to that property. <sighs> You're not the only one who earned money. I, I, I did too. I just took a few years off to raise Yonji. Let's be clear. You stayed home doing nothing even before Yonji was born. Then you needed time to come up with a business idea. 
then you should at least cancel the alimony. You want 10 million wands? That's absurd. Which is about 7,300 USD. Which is not that much, honestly. If I sue you, then I could get you to pay child support. I settled for 10 million won because I knew you're broke. Oh, like you said, I'm broke, so I want you to cancel the alimony altogether. I refuse to pay this amount. Then I guess we failed to reach an agreement. Yuan, fine. I'll sign if you just give me parental rights. I should be able to go see my own kid. I know you're just going to take Yonji hostage to get more money out of me. Fine. Then keep your parental rights. I don't care. Just cancel the alimony. You seriously have no shame. You're the reason why getting a divorce. You're the reason why we're getting a divorce in the first place. Oh, come on. Cancel alimony while I'm asking nicely, okay? Just be grateful that I'm not asking for more. You little... Now you're really pissing me off. So... Mr. Lee. That hurt like hell. Are you okay, Miss Yang? Who, who is this pastor? Don't tell me you have a new man. See? I told you it might be, be dangerous. Fools like him always resort to violence when they don't get their way. What did you say? You want a piece of me? Go ahead and hit me if you, if you don't care about getting arrested for assault and paying the settlement money. Ooh, there's a camera right there, guys. And don't forget that there's a security camera up there. Although, it's probably already recorded everything. Damn it, what the hell is this guy's deal? Ooh. What do you think you're doing? Why did you stop in? Oh, sorry. Take this. <laughs> Let's keep things strictly professional from now on. Oh, crud. Please don't follow me. Ms. Yang! Wait! I can't keep letting him get involved in this mess. Oh, he has a little present for her. It's Yonji's birthday soon. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Yonji. Happy birthday to you. Aww. <laughs> it's so cute. You didn't have to get her a present. I'm just thankful that you guys came. <laughs> of course I had to get sweet Yonji a gift. It's her birthday. Yenji, do you like my present? Boop, boop, boop ta-da! Wow, it's boop, boop! It's great that Hyun Yun is right at Yonji's level. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the birthday party. I should get going. Call me when the party's over. I'll come pick you up. Okay. Look at those two. Oja, they look very happy together. <laughs> They're blushing. Are you sure about this? What if we get in trouble? I'm her father. It's perfectly fine. I need Yonji with me in order to reduce the alimony and get a portion of Juran assets. If not, you're going to have to ask your landlord for a security deposit back. What? Then promise me you'll only keep her until the two of you work out an agreement, okay? Okay. Yonji usually plays hide and seek in the yard around this time. So use that doll to get her attention when she's hiding. Hide and seek! Shall we play hide and seek? Can't you just go instead? I would have. I would have if you knew how to drive. We're gonna need to split once Yo we get Yonji in the car. Damn it! I'm going to count to ten. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven. <laughs> Juan, just because you're the breadwinner doesn't mean you get to dictate everything. <laughs> now, how dare you nag your husband, you old hag? Huh? Hi there. Come over here. Let's play. Huh? Bunny, bunny. Come over here. <laughs> Yonji. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, 
I don't like this couple here. The fact that this blonde lady just thinks and believes everything her man says. It's just, oh, it's just like, what's it called? It's just like not diabolical. It's like it twists my brain. Like you have to be like the dumbest person ever to believe. Like that's something I kind of learn is that whenever a man say, oh yeah, my ex-wife or my baby mom is keeping my baby away from me. Um, I learned that that's not always true. It's actually because the dad is a deadbeat father. Oh my gosh. And now she is now part of this whole kidnapping thing. I don't know if it really considered kidnapping because it is the father. But the... I don't know. This whole situation is so messed up. I, I hope this case would make him lose all rights to the baby and also lose his rights to any assets once they are divorced. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.